Although polyethylene encasement doesn't deteriorate once it's installed underground, it is a thermoplastic material. And like most plastics, prolonged exposure to sunlight will eventually cause deterioration of the film. So you don't want to leave the VBIO film outside for long periods prior to installation. When lifting VBIO encased pipe with a backhoe, you'll want to use a fabric type sling or suitably tied cable or chain to protect the VBIO film. Be sure to remove all lumps of clay, mud, cinders, or any other material that might be on the pipe surface before you cover the pipe with VBIO. During installation, take care to keep soil or bedding material from becoming trapped between the pipe and VBIO. Finally, when you install V-Bio encasement in areas where the water table will intrude into the pipe zone, either constantly or intermittently, Dipper recommends that you follow the requirements found in AWWA C105 for wet trench installation. This involves applying wraps of tape at two foot intervals completely around and along the entire length of pipe and thoroughly sealing both ends of the encasement with polyethylene tape at the joint overlap. Polyethylene encasement, since the first commercial application in 1958, has been proven the simplest, easiest, and most cost-effective way to protect ductile iron pipe from corrosive environments. VBIO Enhanced Polyethylene Encasement builds upon this proven success and represents a technological advancement in corrosion control for ductile iron pipe. Today, there are hundreds of millions of feet of polyethylene encased ductile iron pipe serving utilities throughout North America and around the world. Since polyethylene encasement was first installed in 1958, test after test has proven that it works at a fraction of the cost of fragile bonded coating systems. It may be hard to believe that something so simple can be so effective, but believe it. If you need to protect ductile iron pipe from corrosive environments, you should use VBIO Enhanced Polyethylene Encasement.